Come here. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Oh, Dude, how cool is that? What is up guys? Welcome back. For those of you that haven't been following my last couple videos, hang on with a buddy of mine, Scotty, Wildfly Productions on YouTube. We've been working on using the airplane to explore remote fishing opportunities and today we we're moving on to a kind of different one and for those of you that didn't watch my video from what we did yesterday, you should go watch it, but basically we went to this tiny little spring creek that was just filled with a bunch of fish. Now in contrast today, we're gonna go fly over some pretty rugged remote terrain, but we'll be landing at an airport and fishing with a buddy of mine, Jay, on California's largest spring creek that's supposed to have a bunch of big native rainbows. Clear. Good 89, enter Fall River Mills. 124 statute miles. Ooh, not nautical, because we're not in a boat. <laughs> so when we look at this flight path, Right now, it's gonna take us right over Frenchman. I'm gonna actually just swing us over the highway. Reason being, it just gives us more outs if we did have any, you know, issue that would force a landing. First half of this flight, we're just over desert, which is my comfort zone, just because, you know, I did have my engine quit once. Being over desert was really nice in that respect. Once you get over trees, um, you know, your mindset has to change from like, how do I land and save the airplane to how do I just land and save us? Because at the end of the day, emergency landings are made to save lives, not airplanes. Once we get over the, the terrain, we'll kind of talk about what's going through my head because that's one thing I normally just keep to myself and am quiet about. You know, right now, if the engine quit, I'm like, I'm turning anywhere down any of these canyons and there's a million little dirt roads. Once there's trees, you, you, you don't have that ability of saying like, where's a clear, you know, cut area that you can land. A lot of times you got to start thinking of like, you know, how do I dissipate energy if we get to the ground just to save us? How does like that risk factor kind of factor into your psyche? Because it is, it's fun to go fly and it's exhilarating, but yeah. at the same time, it's really dangerous or can be. It can be. I mean, just the consequences are, you know, as high as anything out there. You know, inevitably, if you fly a single engine plane and you go places, you're probably going to be somewhere at some point where you don't have a, a perfect, ideal situation for an engine out. We go over to fly in Northern California fairly often, and most of it, we follow the highways, and then there's a point where there's no more highway to follow without doing a huge detour that's kind of ridiculous. So we get over what I consider no man's land. At that point, it's like everyone on the radio, if we're flying as a group, gets kind of quiet because we're all doing the same thing. We're like, okay, if my engine quit now, I'm going there. <laughs> like, I don't know, I try to avoid it, like I said, but sometimes that's just not real life. Yeah, you're always thinking, I guess. Yeah. Always thinking about an exit plan. Yeah, and again, it, it goes back to that emergency. Landings are made to save lives, not airplanes. So, as long as you have the mentality that, like, if that time comes, you know, use that airplane however you have to, to survive it. Inevitably, probably some part of this, this flight that we're about to do over the next 40 miles would put us over stuff where it's like, I can't really reach a road or whatever, and that's when it starts to get, like, okay. Now, what would be the next best? Like these clearings that are just little saplings, um, you know, it'll wreck the airplane, but I could get a slow. We'd probably hit those, rip the gear off, and you'd flip over, but we'd be okay. So those are like the next openings that you look for. Yeah. It's probably not a great thing to tell a passenger when you're no, flying. Yeah. <laughs> the reality of it, though. Yeah, the reality is if you're a pilot and you're not thinking about that stuff, then you're not prepared. And you know, altitude's your friend. You try to stay high enough that if there were an issue that you could solve in flight, you have enough time to solve it in flight. And also give yourself more options as far as landing. So that's why you notice compared to what we were doing back there, I've, I've climbed up quite a bit. I'll talk some airplane nerdy talk. We are cruising currently at 7,500 feet, indicating 87 with a true airspeed of 98 miles an hour. Got a ground speed of 119 because of a tailwind burning 5.2 gallons an hour, which puts our uh, 
fuel economy, I'm getting 22 point, 23 miles to the gallon right now. My no range wind is uh, 394 miles, which I don't believe, but that would be if I could keep the throttle held back and have this kind of tailwind the whole time. And uh, we're showing 23 minutes till we're there. Fall River, Kit Fox 8 Juliet, Juliet on the left face for final 2 0, full stop. So you, don't want, you don't want to land at that helipad right there? <laughs> Go for it. I'm going to do something that's going to make you uncomfortable, but I got to lose altitude. We have arrived. We have made it. We just landed at Fall River Mills, met up with my buddy Jay, who, I'm going to be honest, you're the fishiest guy I know. And I'm excited to finally get a fish with you. Uh, sounds like we're in for some fun. Tell me, yeah. where, where are we and what are we, what are we doing? Uh, this is the Fall River Valley. This is the largest spring-fed system on the planet. It's 800 million gallons a day that come out of the ground out here. <laughs> it's Spring Creek trout fishing um, at its finest. Fed, crazy clear. I guess there's big fish in here, but this has got to be pretty technical with how clear it is. It's, it's, yeah, they're catchable though. They are catchable. This is rad. This is like it's so much patient. bigger than earlier. <laughs> Going and of course he's wrapped around the GoPro. Oh no. He's taking you to town. No, did he come on? Oh fuck, dude. Dude, that was wild. Oh damn, that was a really nice fish. Freaking went on a tear. Oh my god. <laughs> Shouldn't be complaining. You need to fight it for you? Yeah. Jay, come land this one for me. <laughs> my arm hurts. Valley. We're going to the inlet, which is another spring creek pumping into here. Crystal clear water. Fishing it like a lake. It's super technical though. Casting as far as we can, which I suck at. <laughs> and fishing really little bugs. It's a thin tippet that breaks all the time. <laughs> I've lost like four fish. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. Dang, that was a long, long drip. <laughs> that was a super long drip. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot keep him on, man. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Scotty. <laughs> Come on. Strip, strip, strip. Come on. <laughs> Now, it's, now you got the decision to make, keep it out of the rocks or what? Don't put this pressure on me. <laughs> oh oh no. I'm done, dude. <laughs> Someone else take over. <laughs> I've hooked enough, dude. Oh. What are you going to say, Jay? What are, we, what are we doing? Getting your asses kicked, that's what you're doing. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. 
Dude. Yes. It happened. It happened. It's happening. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's hot. Fight that hard to land a trout? <laughs> yeah, I didn't say a word that whole fight. I was just like, <laughs> finally, finally let him, finally played him enough. I feel like on that one. Sick, dude, we got it. Look at that fish. <laughs> Perfect specimen. Working hard, baby. Worked hard for him. Man, <laughs> whole lot of relief. Worth the wait, huh? Thanks for hanging in there with me, guys. Yeah, man, no problem. That was sick. All right, dude. <laughs> All right, Jay. Thank you. Oh, so you're much. welcome, man. That, that was that was really fun. That was really cool. So how do people get a hold of you if they want to come do a guide thing? Because what I was thinking about, what's cool of this adventure versus most of my other stuff, Yeah. anyone with a Cessna or Cherokee or any regular airplane can fly in here. You can grab yeah, them. I take can grab them, take them fishing, yeah. fly out. The best way to get in touch with me is just email. Okay. Uh, I'm old school, uh, Jason Cockrum at yahoo.com. Okay. And so it's J A S O N C O C K R U M. I'll put a, uh, I'll put that in the description so people right. can, can get a hold of you. What, you don't have a website? No. Dude, come on, we gotta get this guy on Squarespace. And uh, with that, I'm gonna take a moment to say a huge shout out and thank you to my friends over at Squarespace for sponsoring yet another one of my videos. And for those of you that are unaware, Squarespace is the ultimate way to build a website and run your business. You start with one of their award-winning templates crafted into your own beautiful, professional-looking website. And it takes just minutes, Jay. Anyone can do it. It's super simple. And they have features for every industry. So if you wanted to put your fly guide service or sell your bobbers, which he makes the best bobbers out there, or indicators, um, you can do that with Squarespace. When you're ready, Jay, just go to squarespace.com. It's free to try, and when you're ready to purchase, use code Trent Palmer. It'll get you 10% off. All right. So thanks uh, to Squarespace again for sponsoring this one. We're going to get packed, locked, and loaded. We are racing Sunset back to Reno. So let's get packed up and get out of here. Dude, how cool is that? Yeah. What, what part? Just all of it? Like all of it, but like especially just get to hang out with Jay all day, fishing, ending the day on a fish finally. Dude, yeah, and you worked for that one. Worked for it. And then Jay dropping us off at the airport and we just hop in the plane, headed I know. home. <laughs> yep. The only way it's going to be better is if we were landing at my house oh. instead of the airport and we were like, crack a beer in the hangar. Oh. That would be... Next time. Next time. Next time. Guys, big shout out to Jay. That was an absolute blast. He's a man. He is. He's one of the nicest guys. and Just like one of the fishiest, down to earth, fun dudes to fish with. So. And he's been doing this, what he said, he, he took, he went to guide school 30 years ago or something. Yeah. Like, he's been in it for a long time. If you guys want to go fish with him, we'll leave uh, his email down below. You can contact him, or if you want to get any of his Jadicators. So. No joke. And if you're a pilot and you're anywhere in the Northern California area or just have want an excuse to fly your plane up this way, good excuse. Like, go fish with them. That's like as cool as it can get as far as like him picking you up from the airport. And that water, he's like one of the only people that can launch where we do and access that water. And he probably knows it better than anyone else. It's pretty rad. We, we almost canceled this trip. We almost pushed it back. Yeah. Because of the weather, and we were just unsure yep. what it was going to be like, but it's like a great lesson in that you just kind of have to just go for it sometimes. Yeah. You got to put yourself in the position. And yeah, because we, you know, we could have struck out and it would have flopped. We still would have had fun, still would have linked up. But if we would have just pushed it off, we wouldn't have known what we missed. Totally. So. All right. Made it back safe and sound. Landed right 
at the cusp of dark, but it was like light enough out that we still could see all the terrain. So it doesn't make me nervous. You know, I don't like flying over like desolate, like mountains or, or open desert. We made it in early enough. Quite an adventure, man. Dude, it was so good. I mean, we've been busy the last couple of days. Like, Dude, I've we see what, probably got three videos that you've, you've put out. It's yeah. Video number three. Dude, thank you for coming out. I can't wait to see your videos that you make from this. It's always fun when I get to collaborate with someone and see different perspectives on the same thing. So super stoked. We need to do this again in the future. We'll do it. We're definitely doing it. We're it's doing happening. It. Yeah, so. that's not an if, it's a it's win. It's coming, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> so anyway guys, I'm gonna wrap it out here. You guys know the drill. Like this video if you do, subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace. On the road. So long I don't know what I'm running from And everywhere